we try to um, challenge ourselves. For Detroit, we wanted to, first of all, to write a story that would be incredibly bending, which means the most non-linear story <laughs> that we, we've ever created. And um, we wanted really the player to have the possibility to change the story, change his own journey. When you're writing at Quantic, you're writing for an interactive medium. You know, when you're working in television, you'll put a character in a difficult situation, and you as a writing team will argue about what would that character do. But ultimately, you have to decide what happens, and you just show the audience. What's interesting about interactive drama is you bring the player into that conversation, and it changes your job slightly as a writer, because your job is to provide a narrative context in which the player can write his own story. You're giving him this kind of narrative Lego that he's going to snap together into his own shape. You also have the ability to make your audience attach themselves to your characters because the audience is in some sense responsible for what happens to the characters. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. What is a bit specific about this, uh, this scripts is how large they are. Uh, if you take a film script, there are about 100 pages. Uh, but here we have to deal with a script that, that is between four and 5,000 pages. Everything becomes bigger because we don't just tell one story, but we tell all the possible stories uh, that can be told within this narrative space. Is that calculated? On act three, our final act, we have around 1,000 different scenarios and every one of those scenarios has to be as interesting, as passionate, as strong, and as emotional for the player. We want every action that the player does, every interaction that is available to serve in telling the story, and help the player understand who his character is, and build that character moment to moment. We started with the intention pretty early on that we would never lie to the player. So we implemented a visible tree structure in the game that players can consult during a scene or at the end of it, which shows exactly what they did and what they missed. There are games out there offering world exploration. We offer narrative exploration. You know, keeping control of such a, a wide and, and, and large story is, is a huge challenge. So. Same thing when you shoot with actors, um, because you will need to shoot many different versions of each dialogue, of each scene. For actors, it's a huge, huge challenge. Because of the game, you have so many different ways that the character can go. Every decision, it's what I call kind of choose your own adventure. Like every decision that the player makes, it's gonna open up 40 more pages of material and experience that ties in, which means as a performer, you have to try to continue to make things feel real that the player might not ever see, but also that in, in performance, it's not always connected to a previous act. It's grueling, it's hard work, but it's a great team and, and I enjoy doing it. I was really frustrated, I was, until I got to this point where I kind of was able to step outside of my own experience and even in a lot of ways, my own process and be able to step outside of that and okay, okay, this is something new, what do you need? How do I meet you there? How do I give you what you need and still feel like I'm doing what's right? And once I did that, then all of a sudden it got really fun. It was much freer and uh, having to approach it in a new way and think about the player and think about how it serves them and what I'm doing for them or what I'm letting them into. It's really, I think, uh, helped me grow in general. Remember, there's nothing on the left. That's, that's a wall, so it's probably all there. And then make a come first, close. But I think you would go first to check that it's safe. OK, sure. The most enjoyable thing about working in performance capture on this kind of project is that if I shot a film, I would get to do one of these endings. I get to do so many different things as Connor. Your head goes all over the place because you're trying to keep track of basically four different storylines for each different response. What's the name of my dog? Buddy? Scout. I think it's Jack. I, I can't remember. 
So I, I worked with physicality a lot because it was a good way to anchor myself in these different rings of the tree as the story grows out. I know where that is physically in my body and then I can switch more continually on set and it'll be entirely up to the player to determine what order those things come out and what they look like from a distance. Like if you're playing through it, um, the culmination of all of that will be their version of Connor. I'm faster than you and I don't feel pain. You don't stand a chance against me. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and light a match to it. Tourner les scènes d'action à... Shooting action scenes at Quantic Dream is a real challenge because these are scenes where the storytelling has to continue. It's not an action scene just to have a dose of adrenaline. The stunts have huge consequences on the rest of the story. It's really a moment where we implicate the player and tell him that the choices he makes during an action scene will have a direct impact on the evolution of his story. My biggest challenge on Detroit has been managing the large number of animations that we received from motion capture. Detroit features more than 37,000 animations, which is a huge amount to handle on a daily basis. You have to realize that the player, in his first playthrough, will miss certain scenes. This also means that we had to think of, conceive, and produce all the potential story paths. The character's costumes, the places, day or night, the weather. Did the character get shot in the shoulder? Did he get injured? All this consistency forced us to produce a lot of graphic assets in order to, quite simply, allow the player to have true continuity throughout the story. Honestly, we were even as surprised by the, the challenges that come with such a big tree structure. And uh, we, did, uh, we did our best to guarantee quality across all the, all the game and make sure that whatever path you choose within this narrative space, you will have an equally good experience.